So Martin, first thing I want to ask you is how would you normally start, where, or where would you normally start when you're writing a song? Okay, for me, it's, um, I love starting with a great lyrical idea. Um, I know some songwriters love to get a guitar and just kind of meander their way through different things um, until they come up with something. Occasionally I've done it that way, but honestly I love great lyrics that just are unusual or surprising, um, that that just just get something inside of me and, and that move me in some way or, or create a plot or an idea for a song. And then when I have a point for writing the song, that's when I know I can go ahead with it. And I'll go through a procedure of, of sometimes even before I pick up a guitar, I'll just write down loads and loads of things about that idea. I'll just write down every little phrase that's connected with it. I'll go into Google, I'll look at Google images of you know quotes about mm. this or that. And you know, you get those beautiful pictures with, with quotes written on them. And you sort of say, okay, that, that's a lovely little idea for, to, to put into the mix. And sometimes I'll end up with a couple of pages of, of just scribbles. And that's all my ammunition to start the song. And then I can sit down and having had a, however long it is to ruminate the idea, I'll then have a really good idea of musically where I'm going to go with it. Because it will be crying out some kind of musical theme to me. Yeah. And, uh, and then I'll sit down and I'll start working through it. But from the, from the moment I have a point to write in the song, that's, that's when I know I can start, um, rather than just taking that meandering yeah. process. Yeah. And what would you advise people to do when they get writer's block? So at any stage, either at the start of the song or kind of, you know, you might reach a point in the song where you just don't know where to go with it, so what would your advice be there? I've sat in a room with world-class songwriters, three fully grown adult songwriters sitting there, everybody just going, oh, what should we say, how? What, what about this? This rhymes with it. And, and I've stopped the procedures and the proceedings and said, guys, what do we actually want to say? It's again, it comes back to this thing of having a point. So what do we want to say here? And somebody will say, well, we want to say, when you walked out the door, you broke my heart. Then let's say that. Yeah. Often, if you just make life simple for yourself and say what you want to say in the song, it becomes that much easier and it becomes easier to understand for the listener. We're not trying to create some incredible metaphor for somebody walking out. We just say it. You can twist the lyrics a little bit so it becomes a little bit cooler or um, uh, slightly more unusual language. But first of all, you have to know what you want to say. And any point that I, that I brick wall, that, I, that I, don't, I don't know what to rhyme with this or I don't know where to take my second verse. I sit back and I think to myself, if it's on my own, what do I want to say? And it's as simple as that. People make songwriting too hard for yeah. themselves. To pull it back and... Yeah, simplify. just know what, know what you want to say. Have a point. Yeah. And do you think that co-writing with other people, is that a good exercise? Does that suit all songwriters? Do you think all songwriters should try it out? Co-writing is the thing that has propelled me quicker through the music business than anything else. Um, virtually every pro songwriter that I know collaborates uh, and they do it for several reasons. First of all, you act as filters for each other. When someone's coming up with an idea, you can say, well, you know, I think it's a good idea, but I think there's better. When someone says that to you, then you start thinking, oh, okay, I better up my game a little bit. So automatically you start writing stronger lyrics, stronger melodies, because the moment you say come up with an idea and somebody isn't knocked out by your idea, you think, okay, I'll, I'll do better. Um, so it makes you raise your game. Um, in terms of the networking aspect of it, you get to know this whole songwriting community and so you get to tap into loads of different songwriters all around the world that you can write with, yeah. um, which is also great. You get twice the people, or three times, if there's three people collaborating, three people in a room that will be pitching the song when it's finished. They'll be pitching it out there to the music business. Um, so three, three times the work done afterwards as well. There's nothing bad that I can say about collaboration. I can only say it's good. And it's great fun as well. Um, everything comes out better. My, the moment I started collaborating, my songwriting was better, uh, my connections were better, and I, understand, I understood 
um, the whole process of songwriting far better as well. Yeah. And the last question, Martin, is just how do you how do you know when a song is finished? How do you know when to stop? <laughs> I think it was Da Vinci said that he never finished a painting. He walked away from it. Yeah. Um, he abandoned it. And there there has been uh, more than one occasion where I've just thought, okay, well, I've gone as far as I can with it. But generally, I, I tend to go to the point, I, I do try and push my songwriting to the point where I believe it's the very best that it can be. And even when I'm in the recording process, I'll be, um, I'll be rewriting as I go. If I hear something that, that doesn't quite work in the recording or the singer can't quite vocalise it in time and fit all of the lyrics in, um, then I'll rewrite as I go. So I'm still composing and writing at that stage. I might hear that it should go off on a slightly different tangent musically. So um, I'll, I'll alter it as I go. And at the point that I finally push the final mix, um, that for me is when the song is finished. Because even after I've got everything down, I'll still be editing as well. well do I need those two bars after the first chorus? Let's try taking them out and see if we can trim the fat off the song. And, and so that's part of the songwriting process too. And so when I've finally hit the final mix and I've listened back to it many times and the following morning listened back to it uh, and I still love it, that's when I know it's finished. But it's an ongoing thing.